When I have a hankering for a great sandwich but don't want to head to the grocery store, I head to the cupboard and the freezer, do a little clean out, and I come up with my potato chip crusted chicken sandwich. It also is topped with a ranch chipotle sauce, all very easy, and it includes some supermarket shortcuts that makes the whole process go faster. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is thaw out your chicken tenders, not whole chicken breasts, but chicken tenders. We're gonna take the strips to build the sandwich. And most of us usually have these on hand in the freezer. Now, I've created a classic breading station. The first is all-purpose flour, seasoned with just a little salt and pepper. Then it's some egg and buttermilk. Buttermilk adds a richness and a tang to this chicken when you bake it off in the oven, which is great. And then, instead of breadcrumbs, it's crushed potato chips. And if you have flavored potato chips, that's all the better. I mean, barbecue, sour cream, and onion, all those would be great on this. So just choose whatever you have in your pantry. Now, the first thing we'll do is take the chicken tender, make sure it's nice and moist, and we'll dredge it in the flour, the seasoned flour, and just get that coated nicely. Once we have finished that, it goes into the egg and buttermilk mixture. All right. And now I'm gonna use the best tools you have in the kitchen and they're attached to your wrist. I'm gonna use my hands. Because what we wanna do in here is really pack on those crushed potato chips. And the nice thing about using potato chips here, when we bake these off in the oven instead of frying them, the oil in the potato chip will render and keep the chicken tender nice and moist as it bakes off in the oven. So now once it's good and coated all the way around, no bare spots, I've lined my baking sheet with some parchment paper. Pop this on, looks and smells great, and then we'll get these into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. So while the chicken is baking off in the oven, let's make the sauce. It's a ranch chipotle or chipotle ranch, however you want to go. Start with your favorite bottled ranch salad dressing. So we're gonna take that and get that into a little bowl. And then you're gonna to go to your cupboard and find some chipotle peppers. If you don't have any of these on hand, they're easily found at your local supermarket. And you take a little bit of the chipotle peppers in the adobo sauce and pop it inside. This is not terribly hot. The ranch will cool things off. And once we stir this up, it takes on a nice pink appearance. And it's a beautiful sauce to serve on top of the chicken sandwich. So the sauce is done, the chicken's out of the oven. What do you say we build the sandwich? Now this starts with a delicious sweet brioche roll. Now these are already split. So I'm going to start with the bottom and then build the sandwich in layers. We're gonna begin with some green leaf lettuce. Acts as a nice bed for the sandwich. From there, a big thick slice of beef steak tomato. And then you can go with any onion you like. I have red onion today. You could also use Vidalia onion. That would certainly be nice. Nice sweet onion on this would be delicious. And then you're going to take two to three of the chicken tenders depending on size. So we'll pop these on. Two of those I think are gonna make a nice healthy size sandwich. And then get the cheese onto that warm chicken so it begins to melt. And then your last step is a great big dollop of that ranch chipotle dressing or sauce. Oh, this is such a nice sandwich. It's easy, it's quick, and it's made with things that you already have in your cupboard or your freezer. Pop the lid and you've got a good time sandwich that is going to be a pleaser for everyone around your dinner table.